Hey guys, it's Cam with Hope to Canine Foundation. I have Miss McKenzie back here. She's a case we haven't introduced to you yet. Um, high, 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 severe anxiety dog with a lot of history to get into. Um, but one of the things that we're having to do for her is a bit of a custom muzzle fit. So I just wanted to remind you of this hack really quickly. We've posted this before and it's something we borrowed from a colleague. Uh, we've not been the originator of this, uh, this adjusted muzzle. But it really is an easy and quick solution for a dog that has to wear a muzzle frequently, um, you know, or for prolonged periods of time. McKinsey's case, this is a tool that we brought into the mix for her board and train because of her issues of confinement. She's actually damaged her home really badly, indoors and out, based on how destructive she's been. Her escaping issues have included, um, you know, breaking the house, door frames, I think going out a window at some point, opening door, uh, door locks, door knobs, digging under, digging under fences, like really severe stuff this lady has, um, you know, about nine years behind her, I think she's nine or 10 years old. Um, and then a lot of health issues have coincided with all of this anxiety and pushy behavior over her life, uh, her lifetime. So we're really glad she's here. She's definitely um, a pretty significant case and she's a dog that we really hope to see dramatic changes in and the ability to create her for her own safety, for the owner's sanity, um, for the safety of others. Um, and, and part of that in the, in the process here is about muzzling so she can't hurt herself trying to escape. But because there's an extra length of wear on something like this in the Baskerville muzzles, which we like just because they're economical, mind you, there's a lot of muzzles on the market, guys. This is not the best muzzle of all time. This just happens to be one that pretty consistently across the board works for us to recommend for a variety of dogs for the purposes that we typically need in socialization, um, during a conditioning stage to have the tools as something the dog's familiar with if they have to go to the vet with it. Um, so these can be really great. They come in a bunch of sizes. The size is listed there. I went up a size for her and then I'm wrapping it in this fat yarn. And as you can see, I just started on one end. I tied a little knot and then I'm working my way around the points that specifically are risky for her to need more cushion around her muzzle area on the sides of her cheeks. And this yarn is just like blanket yarn. You just buy big skeins of it. Um, you'll find this in a craft store like Michael's. You'll find it um, at, of course, a knitting store specifically. My, well, Michael's is still in Escondido. So, yeah, whatever your craft store is, whatever it is in your area. But that's the, the concept is the same, right? Um, and then, you know, you just take uh, not as much as I did. I made a gajillion lengths because I cut too much at once. Just take a length of that and start working your way around. Each, each little, like, inch I go, I'm just putting it back on her and kind of checking for the custom areas where she's at risk of having extra rubbing or pressure. And then um, we can still wash this, of course, with the yarn on it that way and, you know, um, have it last for a while for us and also replace this if necessary. So just a reminder on that, we'll, we'll share more about this lady as we get uh, to know her further and get her worked into training. She's exhausted right now. She's got a nice fan going because she worked outside before coming in here. And because she just works herself up all the time. She's really a stress ball. Um, but, you know, like I said, these are, these are the cases we really like to work, uh, you know, to see the transformation process that's possible, create more safety and security and, and sanity for everybody. And also because this is a senior dog that if she continues on this trajectory, she's going to shorten her life. And it probably already has to some extent uh, shortened her life. And the goal here is, um, you know, to not do that any more than necessary and to really bring her back into inclusion uh, in a way that she's never been able to experience before with her family. So wish us luck on this gal, but muzzle hack, just wanted to throw that out at you guys in case you needed a reminder on that one, all right? Ciao.